All right. Um, well, before we end, do you just have any watching recommendations for us? Is there anything, anything good? You mean like the, the, the recorded mass I do on Sunday? That sure, if you want to, if that's what, if oh, that's what you that's got a, for us. That's a, <laughs> well, that's all I've got. I mean, it's not, the only thing I have to offer right now is a, is a Sunday recorded mass. All right. um, oh, gosh, let's see. You know, my, my dad, uh, who's, who's 86 years old, he spends a lot of time watching EWTN right now. Oh, yeah. And uh, I don't watch EWTN because it's too much like work. Right. You know, it's like theology classes or scripture study or this thing or that. Mm -hmm. It's like, no, when I watch, when I watch TV, I, I, I want to escape. You know? Yeah. I think but, we, are, we happen to be in a very similar situation. Right. There. <laughs> right. Yeah. I mean, especially since a lot of the stuff that they talk about on TV or on Catholic radio is all very interesting stuff, but it's all stuff I already know or already deal with or already know the answers to. So then it ends up being, again, more like classwork than it is like anything else. But I think for, for most folks, uh, Catholic radio and any kind of Catholic programming, that's great stuff. Um, I always you know, always hope that people have good Catholic materials in their home. And in a, even though print is dead, you know, in a lot of ways, um, you know, to, to have Catholic books, Catholic magazines, so that every month you, you know, you get a, a subscription to something. I think yeah. those things still exist. I don't know. It's not showing my age again. <laughs> but, uh, you know, to, to have these kind of, this, this kind of material coming into your home so that it's there for you to review every time it shows up with something new, with something fresh, a different perspective on some point of Catholic life that you didn't know before. There's, there's tons of Catholic material out there. Um, but I'm not really good at recommending it because I don't watch it myself. All right. Perfect. <laughs> well, there you go. So check out Mass on Sunday. There you go. At least that, right? <laughs> that should be enough, I guess. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, um, is there anything, when, whenever I, we have a guest on the show, we just like to ask if they need prayers for anything because we've got a community here. Oh, yeah. That, that could pray for, for whatever we, uh, we might need. So. Well, um, I'm aware of, uh, of several parishioners who are having a particularly difficult time. Um, but I also add in my, my own stuff, you know, with my dad, uh, he was diagnosed with cancer, lymphoma, blood cancer about six weeks ago. So um, I'm, I'm his only caretaker and you know, he lives alone in San Clemente and I'm all the way up here in Los Alamitos. So I'm a good 45 minutes away from him. If something were to happen, I'm not right there. Yeah. You know? So I'm concerned about his health, but he seems to be uh, doing pretty well with the, with the chemo. But yeah, if there's, if there's anything I would like people to pray for right now, selfishly, it's for my dad. Yeah. Because I think, uh, you know, he, he, he loves knowing that he's being prayed for because he's got a priest who, he's got a son who's a priest. And so he knows that there's a lot more people paying attention to what I ask them to pray for. <laughs> <laughs> Yes. Comes with perks. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. To be the dad of a priest to have perks. Yeah. <laughs> Alright. Well, um is normally I would just say a quick prayer right mm -hmm. then on the spot. Oh, okay. So well, let's do that. Let's do that. Alright, so let's pray in the name of Father, Son, Holy Spirit, Amen. Dear God, we just ask um that you come down and you bless uh Father Chris's father. What what is his name? Ned. Ned. We ask that you uh, bless Ned and that you heal him. We come to you as, as a father and as children, knowing that you hear what we ask and that, that you, you want to grant it. And we ask in boldness, knowing that, that you want us to ask these things. And uh, so we come to you and we ask for healing and we ask for, for grace and for peace and for love and for all of the gifts that you offer, especially during this time. And we also pray for Father Chris who is um, trying to help his father through this time, um, and it's difficult. And so we ask that you also bless him with all those same graces as well. We pray this in your most holy name, Jesus. Amen. Amen. Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Amen. All right. Thank you. <laughs> Say bye. Bye, everybody. Thanks for tuning in. <laughs> all right. Perfect.